planet it is the priest and i'm back with another zodiac reading so this reading came to me from my higher self i really feel like the world needs some encouragement some inspiration so today i'm going to be focusing on messages from the universe for your zodiac sign so the overall question that i'm going to be asking today is messages from the universe or what the universe wants you to know but in that, I wanna look at a few other questions such as who you're becoming, blockages that you're going through, what to expect, why you're going through which, and any other messages that come pretty much from higher self in guiding you. So today I'm gonna to be shuffling on camera because I wanna keep everything neutral for each zodiac sign. If you guys would like to skip to your zodiac, you can find that down below in the pinned comment. If you're new, shout out to all my new subscribers. Don't forget to hashtag down below new subscribers so that we can welcome you to the planet where we embrace love happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. Times are crazy right now and everything is shifting. People are waking up. There's a huge awakening going on. People are releasing karmic cycles. It's very painful, but I promise you it will be worth it. So today I wanna look at an overall message from the universe to you for your exact zodiac sign. And then obviously I'm gonna get into some other questions. Now, if you guys are looking to do life coaching or readings or interested in anything that I have going on, including some on demand of my previous webinar, you can find that on thetarotpriest.com or follow me on Instagram at thetarotpriest. I think I jumped up about 2000 in just the past week because of everything that's been going on. I've been trying to post much more intimate and positive messages. So don't forget to follow me there. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what you have in store for your zodiac sign. All right, today we're gonna start with Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you. All right, where do I wanna start? Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. What do you want Scorpio to know? Messages for the universe. Wow, okay. So this is a lot of mental things that you guys are experiencing, Scorpio. So right off the bat, we have the Two of Swords, which is the Confusion card, the Page of Swords, the Inspection card, the Hierophant, so we have a couple of major arcanas, and then I'm just gonna sort them out major and minor. Okay, so spiritually, what you guys are going through is discovering what you believe. It's very, very important that you are living true to yourself. And what I mean by that is allow guidance to surface in your life, but do not allow it to determine and dictate your destiny, okay? A lot of you are being awakened, Scorpio, to finding your own strength and your own clarity without the, de the dependence of validation and opinions from other people. So the reason why I say that is because we have already, we have Taurus, and we also have a little bit of Leo here. So for those of you Scorpio, you guys are being ignited to make a decision on who you want to be. In this awakening that's occurring right now, you're gonna be receiving messages. Also, we have the Eight of Wands. This is the messenger card, but if you look very closely, it is like an alien or something of an extraterrestrial being. This tells me that spirit and universe is going to be and has already from what I'm feeling, sending you messages. But these messages that are coming in are not like a letter or a knock at the door or a text message. This message is something that you will have to piece together. So it's gonna take a lot of awareness on your end and a lot of inspection. It's like Scorpio spirit and universe really wants you to focus on who you want to be. If you look at this card, the two of swords, it's two people, right? And then it's like, what do you believe in? And understanding also that your opinion is just as valued and should be just as valued as the opinions from others. So there's a lot of spiritual enlightenment that's going on, but it's to get you in a place of, of clarity, okay? Page of Swords is also starting over, <laughs> starting over mentally, right? All of the things that you've been taught, all of the things that you've learned even from a younger child it's like 
was that really you or did you just adopt these beliefs from others? So with the Hierophant, it's very, very important that you establish your belief system, right? So I've been talking a lot about this on my Instagram. If your beliefs are not bringing you peace in this mist of chaos in the world, then it is certainly time to question them. And that's okay. It's perfectly okay to question beliefs. In fact, that's what spirit wants you to know. To start questioning your beliefs, why you believe it, and is it really coming from your true self? Or have you created an identity? Or un And this could be subconsciously, because I'm feeling like some of you may not know that you kind of have become an identity that the world wanted you to be or other people around you wanted to be. I'm, I'm hearing something about parents too. There's a few things here, parents, friends, um, growing up, some of you, a few of you guys, because again, this message is some of you who dealt with bullying at a very young age, this has to do with where you are today. How do I know that? I don't know. That's the message that just came in. It's like, go back to when you were a child. A lot of answers are going to be uh, given to you guys in this time. Who is Scorpio becoming? Who is Scorpio becoming? Who is Scorpio becoming? Thank you. Well, we have two cards, so I'll take them. Usually if it's a back, I'll take those cards. So you guys are becoming a call of action commander. What is this? The pilot of your own plane, which is beautiful. A lot of you have come a long ways. Another thing, Scorpio, is not to be so hard on yourself. Okay? Not to be so hard on yourself about where you are or where you're going. Time. Okay? Pro progress. You're making progress. If you don't see what you're wanting to manifest right away, that does not mean it's not manifesting, okay? Just because you cannot see it physically does not mean it's not there, okay? A lot of you are asking for abundance, but the abundance that you're receiving is an abundance of health, of an abundance of time, an abundance of strength, not just financially. So that's something too that's coming in. But you're learning how to become a leader of your own journey and not to depend on other people especially right now in this world we don't really know what to believe with all of the information that's being spread but if we tune in and connect back to the portal of communication with your higher self a lot of these questions that you have will be answered now it says take charge lead by example walk the walk so a lot of you are it's interesting because the way that I see it, you guys are coming to the forefront, but it's not because you want to like willingly want to. It's like someone's like pushing you and you're just like, oh, I don't know if I'm ready yet. You're definitely ready to lead. Okay. And you do have something important to share as well. A lot of you have a lot of wisdom, but you don't really release it as much Scorpio. And so open communication, get a weight off your chest, speak up and be heard with love. Okay. So you guys are learning how to become a leader. That seems to be what universe wants you guys to know in this time is walk, that you're capable of leading, that you can lead yourself through intuition. Scorpio on love, any messages? Thank you. All right, at the bottom we have reconciliation, romantic feelings, religious factors. There's a lot going on here, okay? Religion, that's the second time that's come up. The higher font morals, this is usually about politics, religion, institutions. So. It seems like when you find yourself, again, when you find yourself, the when you find your soul, the mate will appear, right? I say this a lot. When you find yourself, some of you already are dating, but some of you are waiting. And it says clearly decide on what you want so that it comes to you. So really what the hold up, even in your love life, universe wants you to know is that you must settle on who you are. Because if you settle on an identity that you are not, you're going to attract that same identity in others. So very soon you guys have a soulmate that's coming in. Any other messages of affirmation for Scorpio and how they should view, how should they view what's going on? All right, we have one at the bottom of the deck. Three of cups in reverse. Ten of Swords. So yeah, it's mental. The battle is mental with you, Scorpio. All right. And then also your resistance, your resistance in allowing things to be shed, to allow things to let go. Some of you are attached to some things um, that need to be released. And of course, you know what that is. 
I manifest multiple opportunities. We have the eight of wands again, second time. So definitely going to be receiving messages here soon. And then the 10 of swords, you guys are coming to the end of this mental conflict. Okay. Obviously, again, there's so much going on in the world and most of your cards are sword cards. So it says, I see the truth in this ending. Understand also what spirit is saying is endings are just a start. Okay. Something must end for a new beginning to appear. And that's really what your spirit is longing for, almost like a restart or a reboot. And then last but not least is the Three of Cups. It says, I embrace joyful opportunities. So the last thing that I have for you guys is to focus on what makes you happy, right? Focus on what is bringing you inspiration and allow yourself to have more fun, okay? This is going to help you release a lot of these mental blockages in your mind that you are currently experiencing going with the flow. Yeah. I didn't even have to, uh, to, uh, pull the cards here <laughs> going with the flow. Okay. This is the ACE of cups. So this is in love going with the flow and what you love, not waiting, not waiting to do what you love to do. And then at the bottom, we have playfulness again, which is what I was just saying, having more fun, getting your energy to a higher place of frequency is the biggest challenge right now for pretty much every zodiac sign and every human being because of the world and the environment of being so heavy you are being sucked into it mentally but you have the strength to overcome it and it's and it's for the good okay scorpio the last thing i want to say is that this change that you're going to be experiencing it's like these negative thoughts and anything that's bringing you anxiety or depression spirit is asking that you shall release it because you deserve to feel at peace but you must take the first step into doing that you must lead that pathway it's like two roads and you've been on this road and most of the direction has come from outside factors external factors Spirit wants you to take the next route, but you will be leading that. And you are certainly capable of doing that, Scorpio. So if you're Scorpio, don't forget to hashtag Scorpio down below. Stay encouraged, stay uplifted, and obviously stay inspired. I want to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And if you do happen to see someone in the comments who is struggling, who is also a Scorpio, and any sign actually, please encourage them and uplift them. Let's bring love and unity to the comment section. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. I'm going to head on to the next zodiac sign, Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on with you. All right, let's start with this deck. I'm just switching up the decks on each zodiac sign. I'm pretty much just going with the flow <clears throat> to see what universe has for Leo. Thank you. Your cards are all over the place, Leo. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So some of you guys are struggling. Oh my goodness. Okay. The reason why it's, it's interesting and I'm smiling is because the world, this world that we live in right now is not like a Leo world. Um, you guys are, it seems like the message already before I even flip the cards, because I'm already feeling it's very heavy. You guys are used to going out. You thrive off of the energy of others. And so because of the world kind of being on hold and being at a standstill, Leo, you're, you're looking and being forced to kind of find excitement and inspiration outside of just in uh, chaotic places with people, right? So life of the party, you know, Leo love to get out. They love to be social. They're, uh, they're social butterflies. But with everything going on, I feel like you are very affected by this because of your energy naturally th thrives around people. Postponement, exactly. Okay, this is about to be heavy, Leo. Okay, postponement. It's like, how much longer do I have to wait? Well, spirit is encouraging you and also kind of pushing you into this space of internal, right? Leos are so external most of the time. External energy really affects you internally. And so what you're learning how to do is create that source of energy for yourself of happiness without the need of other environments and people and, you know, everything that you usually thrive off of. So it's almost feeling like everything is po being postponed at a standstill. And so you're really, really becoming, let's see who you're becoming actually. Who is Leo becoming? 
One more. Yeah, you guys are being activated. This is something way new to you guys. This feels really new. It's spirit is saying you have to do something that you would normally not do, or you have to do something that you haven't done before. This is how it act, how you activate and then also break those karmic cycles. So that thing that you've been doing for so long, it's like spirit wants you to really deal with that. Okay. Family wounds, patterns that you've been, again, I just said that karmic cycles, right? need to be healed in this time. So use this time wisely, Leo, to get back to you and you becoming the source of energy. So when a Leo walks in the room, for the most part, you usually know the energy is upbeat, it's uplifted, it's like the life of the party. That's what most Leos are known for. Obviously there's some shy ones, but that tells me that you haven't really had much of that lately, as much as you usually would. And it's, it's kind of bringing your spirit down. So spirit is like, you know who you are. If you can walk into the room and people notice, that's exactly who you are. You're a light, you're a source. Now it's time to be a source and a light for yourself. And that's basically what spirit is saying. Messages for Leo, messages from the universe. Yeah, the creator, okay? You guys, this is a wand energy, this is fire energy. Now you guys are here to do what? Create courage at the bottom of the deck, ripeness. So you guys are planting seeds right now. Don't this time, they're, they're being so specific when they say this. Do not let the time right now go to waste. Do not let it create despair. It will get, things will get back to the way they were in a better way. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it will be in a better way because people are waking up. And so you're waking up too. And if you notice here, right in the middle, he has all of this light. You are learning how to shine your light without external factors. Okay. Usually, like I said, if there's people there, it's easy for you, but it's like, how can I create my own, own source of frequency of energy so that the world, so that the environment doesn't affect me so that going out and not being around people doesn't affect me. You're learning internal balance. Okay. You're learning how to be the creator of your own source of energy, which is very powerful silence. Okay. So the moon card, that's Pisces energy. It's time to be still. It's time to slow down. You guys are also very competitive people, but with everything going on, it's the perfect time that you haven't been able to receive in a long time. So take advantage of the silence. Be still, be open to hear. That's what they're saying. Last card in this deck. Success. There you go. Six of wands. So you guys are going to really, really, the people that are taking advantage of this time to do some internal work, you are becoming ahead of the race. So you're, Leo, you're used to being competitive, but it's like there's no competitors. But I'm telling you that your biggest competitor is yourself. So once you do the work internally and, and become self-aware of, wow, this makes me feel this way. This makes me feel this way. I, I must fix this. I do not like the way it feels. Boom. Rip out the thorns. Okay. That's what you guys are learning how to do. That gives you an advantage. While other people may not be working on that, you certainly are. All right. What's going on in love for Leo? What do you want Leos to know about love? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. You deserve love in the reverse. Some of you are ready. <laughs> Some of you are ready. What are you ready for? You are ready to settle down and you're tired of looking is what it feels like. Tired of looking, but the reason for the adventure, the reason for the discovery is for you to discover that you deserve love. Okay, we talked about this in a pick a card reading. If you guys did not pick that deck, I still want you to participate and comment down below. I deserve love because this deservingness, obviously it sounds very cliche. I deserve love. But the truth is, is that it's subconscious. You have a lot of subconscious beliefs about yourself and what you believe you can achieve and what you believe you can manifest. And that is what's blocking your love life from moving forward. You will get married if that's what you desire. You will have that. However, how can you get married if subconsciously? Remember, 90% of the things we pick up are subconscious. So that's why spirit is like, go within, go within. You have these loops, these beliefs internally 
right? Um, not feeling like you deserve the best love partner because of something you may have done in the past. That's something also that could be a subconscious belief of not deserving it. And what does that act like of repellent towards love? You basically say, no, no, I don't care how good you say it is. I'm not sure that I'm ready for this. I'm not sure that I won't damage this. I'm not sure that I won't mess this up. And that is a subconscious belief of not feeling like you deserve love. And so spirit is like, go in, pull that thorn out so that you can release that reality. Because that reality is playing on a loop because of that one thought. Examine it, okay? Messages for Leo. Spiritual strength. So yeah, it's taking you a lot. And I keep seeing the universe too. Universe is really trying to communicate with you, Leo, because I just feel like a lot of the fire signs are struggling in the world. There it goes again, universe. Let's see why universe is here because it keeps coming out. Yeah, we also have the third eye chakra, the heart chakra. These are some things also that you guys are going within. The third eye is being more open, seeing things from a higher perspective. The third eye does not see physically. Remember this. So when you're looking and you see signs and you see numbers, pay attention because the universe is speaking to you. 12, 12, I've seen that today. 12, 12, 12, 21, 21, 12, whatever it is, the ones and the twos, it's like you guys are taking two steps forward and one step back. So it feels like you're going really slow, but you're actually not because if you're slow and steady, you know, slow and steady wins the race. But if you're slow and you're actually internally working, you're progressing more than I would say personally, 70% of the people that I even coach or even come into contact with are not doing this type of work. So it can feel very heavy. The two biggest places that spirit wants you to focus on is the heart and the third eye. Seeing things, okay? Don't base how you feel off of what you see with your eyes. If you're seeing this and you're seeing this and you're seeing pain in the world, you're seeing this hurt, what's gonna happen? Your mind is just gonna be fixated on that. What you focus on will grow. So make sure you're focusing on your spiritual strength, what you desire and what you most importantly love to do. And last but not least, Leo, how you feel about yourself? Because that's something that's coming up too. What is the words of affirmation that you want Leo to know? Words of affirmation that you want Leo to know? Thank you. Eight of Pentacles. I dedicate myself to what I believe in. Two steps front, one step back. Doesn't ever seem like it's working out for me. That's something that I'm hearing. But... It is because all of these years or hours or weeks that you have spent, it is giving you expertise in knowledge, okay? And that comes from time, that comes from trial and error. How else will we know how to fix a mistake if we do not realize that it's a mistake? That's something that you're learning, but that is progressing. The higher font, we have Taurus energy here. I am ready to love and learn. Spirit, universe really, wants to take you in under its wing and really just nurture you and love on you and and give you the world <laughs> it's like you guys are favorite favorited in this spiritual awakening you know how you have that one i don't know because i don't have children but that one child in class that is just always just exuberated and excited it seems like that was you you know that person and so just keep staying inspired and encouraged because the world means that things are coming in full circle. The world is, is also about cycles. So you have a new cycle coming in. They want you to celebrate life. This is your words of affirmation. I celebrate life and welcome new energy. So it's time to get on your grind, get on your studying. That's what it seems like. Because it's like you, if you're doing this work, again, this is what they're saying. The people, the Leos that are doing this work, they you won't know until the world gets back to where it was, but you're gonna see most of the thriving comes from the Leos who have done this internal work. Because not only are you guys so talented in being a star or an entertainer or a life of the party or loyal or friendly or loving, there's so many great things about you, but what is most important is that now you balance that with your spiritual strength. 
And remember, your card, your major arcana card, Leo, is strength. So you're coming back to who you are, back to who you are. A lot of you are also being covered with ancestors and protected and guided in this time. So if you're a Leo, hashtag Leo game down below. I want to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And then also don't forget to encourage someone along the ride, right? If you guys skim across the comment, like a comment, encourage, uplifting, up, <sighs> encourage, uplift one another. Uh, the world can use more unity, more love. So let's be there for one another. I'm going to move on to the next zodiac sign. Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's see what the universe wants you to know. All right, what do you want Aquarius to know? Friendliness, two of cups, love is in the air. Love is important to you right now, Aquarius. Love is kind of like a very important aspect of your growth right now spiritually. And we're gonna get to that. Two more cards for Aquarius. Thank you. <clears throat> Possibilities, we have another two. Indecisiveness also. With the twos all over the place, it's like decisions, decisions, decisions. We also have aloneness, the hermit card, Virgo energy. All right, abundance. And then compromise in the in the reverse. All right, so friendliness, possibilities. There's going to be a lot of decisions that you need to make. Spirit wants you to make that decision also. Now, why is aloneness here? Conditioning, the devil card. So we have Capricorn energy also. Now, if I'm calling out other zodiac signs, this just may be important people around you or in your life. So really, you guys are going through a spiritual awakening that requires a lot of internalness, okay? Why is possibilities here? Silence, yes. It's time for silence and almost like redirecting. It's time to be redirected. Yeah, guidance. It's time for guidance. There is a huge 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 spiritual awakening happening right now and i've been talking a lot about this is that that spiritual awakening is the God, i love this okay existence one the fool card you are waking up to who you are and i know i say this but there are different levels there are different levels to who we are and that's what you're kind of learning is going all the way back into your existence and really, really digging internally to have to receive the guidance that you need to choose the path. Right now, it is not for you to make any drastic decisions, Aquarius. That is very clear. Like when I say that's super clear, that's really clear. All, most of these cards are major arcana cards, which are spiritual awakening. And you need help also, and it's okay to ask for help. It is okay to research. It is okay to say that I'm on this path and being open to more help. Some of you really dwell on seeking out a life coach or something that can help you internally because I'm feeling with the guidance and the friendliness and the possibilities and everything that is here, you are waking up to a lot more tangible things in your life. Okay. With the compromise, and the abundance and the guidance this is all pentacle energy here so you are learning how to compromise more and also balance okay aquarius this balance is going to come from spirituality and silence and taking some time to yourself because again with the hermit card it is definitely time to break free from codependencies and the things that you believe you would be happy without I'm just the messenger. Temperance. This is Sagittarius energy, but this is also about spirituality. Moderation is what it says. Everything in moderation, moderation is what I was just saying. With the devil card here, you're breaking free from a lot of things internally, okay? And it feels painful, but it is certainly necessary for you to get back to who you were. Before all of this happened, you or, and I know Aquariuses are not water signs, even though you guys literally have aqua in your name. But this is a very emotional time for Aquariuses because you also like to experience joy and all of the abundance and the beautiful things in this world. 
and right now it just doesn't seem as possible as it used to but here's where you discover go within and find out just really how strong and capable you are that your very existence alone just for it to arrive here on this planet is a miracle it's a miracle think about all of the things that could have went wrong and you are still here today watching this video so this seems like gratitude gratitude and friendliness with yourself patience with yourself more love too all right let's just see what else is going on here page of wands venture some of you definitely need to do something differently okay get your spirits back up into a good place but we also have a lot of relationship stuff coming up here so let's see what that's about aquarius in love messages we have the spiritual awakening card the judgment forgiving and learning just came out it's almost like some of you some of you aquarius is still trapped emotionally and it's coming from internally it's it's being projected on the outside but it is definitely coming from internally as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so yeah it's it's just releasing the things that have happened entirely okay regret is in the verse you guys are going to come out of this energy what else in love finances and career so some of you are just focusing trying to focus on yourself and also trying to focus it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now let's see what else you have in love because it seems like Spirit wants you to focus more on you. It's like the more you improve, the better you become, the better your partner will become or is becoming. Chemistry, okay? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So if you guys are in or dating, okay? Because this is a lot of, this is a lot of past energy, okay? It's like you have so much to look forward to. However, there's a little bit of stuckness in in the conditioning that is preventing you from actually receiving what it is that you're looking for um and we have the empathy in reverse too so let's just see what this is all about why is conditioning here for aquarius just want to see what this is about positive mover, movement forward okay so yeah there's a lot of past energy here now past energy could be remember how i said you need to do something differently spirit is basically saying that it doesn't have to be something crazy that doesn't mean to go jump out of an airplane because Tarot Priest said, do something differently. No, just simply start somewhere different. Try a new food, experience. You need more uh, positive new energy so that you can move forward because a lot of you are stuck, but this stuckness is good. That's what I'm hearing. The stuckness is good because it's forcing you to look within. It's forcing you to not resist the spiritual awakening. Now, what's happening here with this judgment in reverse? Heartache and loss. Yeah heartache and loss there's been a lot of loss and that's why i said i know you guys are not water signs but this is a this is an emotional time for you let's see who you're becoming before i get into these cards because this this message that is coming very clear for you seems very heavy so let's see who are you becoming who is aquarius becoming cosmic gateway move beyond current challenges and focus only on what you desire so this is something that I talked about in my current webinar. When you're focusing on what you don't want, a lot of us wake up and we're like, oh, I hope I don't get a ticket. I hope this doesn't happen. I hope this doesn't. And we're, that's actually focusing your energy into a negative aspect. If you don't want it to happen, just simply don't focus on it at all. That's basically what you're learning is your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. So a lot of you are battling things mentally projection it's like is this is this a projection or is this real that's what i'm really feeling here because it says your thoughts are magnetic and powerful miraculous change are occurring so you are very powerful first of all let me just say that aquarius you are learning about how freaking powerful you are this power is coming from the heartache and loss remember it's these things that we go through that propel us to be better to propel us to be greater stronger um, to have more courage, you know, right? So diamonds, gold, everything that goes through this process, right? Of going through the fire, even gold, going through the fire two, three times before it's purified. You went and have went through this fire already in your life, okay? Heartache and loss, you've already went through it. 
However, if it replays at all in your life, or let's just say something in the past happened, so you're like, well, I just hope this doesn't happen with this person because it happened in the past. That is also a way of still clinging to the past thought-wise. It seems like go back to the control center is what they're saying. The mind, that's the control center. Why is your mind shooting out all of these negative thoughts? Having, having empathy for yourself, but also being honest with yourself just about how much power you do have, okay? We have suffering in silence. A lot of you do need a mentor because I'm feeling like there, there needs to be some releasing with someone that you trust, that is not biased, that is, is for you in love, that really wants to encourage you and inspire you so you can get back to remembering who you are. But if you just simply get back to the purity and the love that you have within, you will certainly find yourself even more than you have ever found before. You are extremely powerful. What you've been through has waken you up to this power. So we don't want to forget what happened because it is that in which got you here and has woken you up to the power. But we want to understand that what has happened was perfect for that timing releasing it and allowing it to move forward okay so i'm feeling some positive things from you guys it's just simply changing the mind and the way you think about certain things the mind is very tricky and so thoughts can easily be projected and even with the judgment card here this is a spiritual awakening for you to release it spirit is basically saying aquarius you cannot move on any further carrying this heartache and loss and this burdening okay even with empathy Knight of Cups in the reverse. And even with your relationship issues, every issues in general, whether you're in a relationship or looking to seek a relationship, it's about forgiving and learning, okay? Now, I'm not seeing really anything else from, from spirit here. Let's just see what your last confirmation is for affirmations. That's just what you should focus on. What should Aquarius be focused on? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles, patience, okay? let things grow water one seed at a time allow it to grow i trust my ideas and direction trusting more of yourself and your capability okay you're the perfect guidance is going to come from your intuition there you go thank you spirit is coming through today okay my intuition guides me to the truth that is the truth is much more powerful than your thoughts because our thoughts tell us things that we think are true but when we go back over them, we will soon see that, wow, that one bad thought about myself has created so much reality. I'm ready to release that because that is not who I am. You're waking up to who you are on a much deeper spiritual level. That's where all of this pain is coming from. There is guidance all around you, things in moderation, and don't forget to put your spirituality first. It is a balance of the physical and the spiritual for you, Aquarius. So. Stay encouraged, stay patient with your journey, and be aware, be observant to the things around you because it seems like intuition is also trying to communicate with you. The universe wants you to know it is now time to move forward and to be friendly with yourself and not to feel stressed out with making decisions, but just allowing things to happen. Compromising is just simply compromising those negative thoughts. Okay, compromising the negative movement backward. That's exactly what spirit and higher self and the universe wants you to know. All right, don't forget to hashtag Aquarius down below, Team Aquarius, if you guys are. And I'm going to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. If you happen to see a comment down below with someone struggling, encourage them also. Uplift them. Let's be together in unity. All right, I'm going to move on to the next zodiac sign. Gemini. Let's see what the messages are from higher self or universe. What does the universe want Gemini's to know? Birthday's coming up soon. Let's see what does the universe want you guys to know? What does the universe want Gemini to know? Thank you. Three of Cups celebration. Yeah, that's what I was figuring. So some of you guys are obviously your birthday is getting ready to come up. And it just seems like, you know, things are in disarray right now. So the Three of Cups of celebration. Uh, for some reason, there's just a little bit of discouragement. Uh, spirit wants you to change your perspective and create your own happiness. Even if you have to throw yourself a birthday party, make sure that you honor yourself. And it's going to require you to change your perspective on things. 
from what you see to what you feel also. There's a lot of hurt here. Now, every time I pull Gemini, we get most of these cards for, for sure. As far as, you know, not really being able to trust as many people. Now with the spiritual awakening and the karmic cycles and the karmic energy that is being released, a lot of people have been exposed uh, as far as not being who they say they were or just not having integrity to tell the truth, right? So this definitely is gonna affect you because it seems like this is something that Geminis deal with often, the misrepresentation or the misunderstanding of who you are as a person. Now, it, it's almost like spirit, what you're learning is to have more compassion for other people and understanding that yes, people are going to mess up, but to just try to see it from a different perspective and meet people halfway is what spirit wants you to know. All right, three of pentacles. Let's just see what else is happening. Why is the 10 of cups here? Patience, yeah. So the 10 of cups is here is patient contentment. A lot of you are not feeling up to par. And again, it is a very, very heavy energy in the world right now. So if you are an empath, you will feel it, especially if you are a Gemini, because it is your time and your birthday is getting ready to come. So there's a lot of things that you guys want to do that will bring more satisfaction and fulfillment to you. But it's just like you waiting and waiting and waiting for something. And it's like, what I'm seeing is that there is things happening, but your, your awareness, spirit wants you to be more aware of these things and not seeing them as not opportunities. So basically you guys are missing it because you're not able to see it when you're focusing on all the other things that may go wrong or have went wrong. So there are good things around you that are worth celebrating, but if you cannot see it, if you cannot feel it, then it would be pointless. And so spirit wants you to be patient with yourself. Spirit is also being patient with you. Now, why is the hanging one here? Why is the hanging one here for Gemini? Thank you. Five of cups, regret. Yeah, so this is a lot of things that you've been, that you've done. It seems very alone, like lonely, Gemini. It feels lonely. Ten of pentacles, yeah, but it's okay. Everything's gonna happen. You're coming out of this feeling of defeat also. We have the trans transformation, the Scorpio, the death card. You're going through an ego death. Spirit wants you to get rid of all of the things that have happened to you, that people have done to you, because that pain that you're carrying is basically what you're here to release. So when the death card comes up, I always tell people that they think it's automatically bad, but death to pain is a good thing. We want the pain to stop ending. So inviting death or endings or releasings is going to be really good for you in this time. I feel like you're really struggling to see a different perspective. Now, how do you change your perspective? Next time you wake up, think about what it is that you want to happen and not what you don't want to happen. And then also what inspires you. Okay. What makes you feel good? So the 10 of Pentacles is here. You guys are going to be successful, but it's not, it's not financially that you are being ignited and it's emotionally that you are desiring more and spirit is desiring more for you, but to actually have an upper hand in fulfillment and not just taking care of yourself and financially. Okay. So being patient with the journey and your fulfillment coming into fruition. Now, what it, who is Gemini becoming? Who is Gemini becoming? Experiencing grace. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. So this is forgiveness, right? Forgiveness and move beyond current challenges and focus on what you desire is what the card says. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love, it, love are coming to you. So you're going through a period of transcendence. And what that means is, yes, it is very painful. It is our bad habits that we need to get rid of. It is those things that we're on a loop that we need to cut off and start a new cycle on. The only way that you can do that, Gemini, is if you allow the ending to occur and to release it at the same time. So the transcendent says to rise up and honor your inner force. Steps are being taken. Honor. Dance with the universe. Okay. Gemini, something that I'm hearing too is just not waiting on people waiting on people to bring happiness to you, waiting on people to understand you, waiting on people to comprehend you, um, waiting on people to give you the benefit of the doubt, that type of stuff. 
waiting, waiting, waiting. I just see a lot of waiting, but with yourself, you're not patient. You're impatient with a lot of the things that are happening or that you want to happen in this life for you, but there needs to be a little bit more patience with self and a little bit more slowing down on everything else. In love, what is Gemini experiencing? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and wedding. Last card for love for Gemini. What do you want Gemini to know in love? Whoa. Trust is at the top. This situation is calling for you to trust and have faith. Playfulness, not taking things so serious. It's like you're, there's, there's the armor. We talked about this in the 2020 that you guys are learning how to release is that armor of protection around your heart. It is very hard to protect and give your heart at the same time. So in order to experience love, you must open up your portal to experience love. But some of you are saying, you know, I don't really care about that. And I'm just getting to myself, making my money, worrying about myself, building on my own foundation. That's all perfect. That's actually really good for you. However, it is really what the universe wants you to know is to trust the situation that is call calling you and causing you to have faith. That's what this card says with the trust, okay? that you deserve to experience passion and to experience that with someone who actually can connect with you on that level and not judging also. That's something, a lot of people judge you, Gemini. Uh, they get the wrong impression of you. And really what I'm feeling is that you're waking up to understanding that it is okay to desire love. It is okay to desire these things in your life from other people. But if you are protected, then you cannot receive. This is your portal, right? Your heart chakra. If it is closed off, there is no one coming in here and there is nothing coming out of there. And love is just not for another person. It is for yourself. So you're learning that as well, Gemini. All right, what are the things that Gemini should be focused on right now? The star card, yeah, hope. Hope, hope, hope that things will get better. Hope and obviously taking the time to nurture yourself. Nine of Pentacles is here, Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you guys are doing financially or whatever is getting ready to happen looks really good. You have both the nine and the ten, which is contentment and fulfillment financially. But your mind, again, <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. But the message is to experience an, an even more depth of euphoria. These are the things that universe wants you to focus on. So I take the time I need to rediscover my energy so the four of swords is usually repose, it's sleep, it's rest of the mind, it's getting stability. I always like to see the fours as a table. It has four legs, stable, right? Mind. Mind over heart is something you guys are great at, but also balancing that, okay? A little bit of heart too. So resting in the mind, not overthinking things is something that spirit wants you to open up to and then your hope this is also aquarius energy we have aquarius scorpio energy from what i can see here i am inspired and positive about my future this is what spirit wants you to focus on is being positive and optimistic about the future not giving up not letting go understanding that the hope is the fuel to keep things going in manifestation if all we're seeing is negative is if all we're taking in and digesting is negative we will also do the same thing outward, inward negative, outward negative. So let's get a little bit more positivity in here and let's just see what that's about. One more card for just the positive vibes for Gemini, because I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Gemini, Gemini positive. Nine of cups, satisfactory, perfect. Satisfaction, good. I know that there's something good coming. This is not all bad. It's just some things that you're working on and that's totally fine. Universe wants you to know that you guys are doing a great job. You've come a long way considering the things that you've been through to be here and to still want to learn more on how you can grow and the messages that are for you is really what spirit wants you to focus on is your own satisfaction and then a little bit of room for opening and allowing others to come in and also share that with you. All right, Gemini, this is your reading. I know it feels all over the place, but universe wants you to know that things are gonna get better in due time with hope to always stay inspired. I guess this is the message today because 
it's everywhere, right? I am inspired and positive about my future. That's what spirit wants you to focus on. So don't forget to hashtag down below Gemini if you are a Gemini so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And if you do happen to see another comment, feel free to also inspire and uplift that person as well. I'm going to move on to the next zodiac sign, Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's see what's in store for you. All right, universe, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Virgo? Messages for Virgo. There's a lot going on. Comparison. Thunderbolt. So we have the tower. So lots going on right now. The miser. Okay, this is in reverse. Virgo. It's like what you're learning is like being selfish. Okay. Um, it's time to really focus on you and do what you love to do. So if you've experienced a tower moment with the people around you or the world or what's going on, it's almost like to get you back to being more selfish, okay? Now when I say selfish, I don't mean egotistically selfish. I just mean taking something for yourself as well. A lot of you are worried about the other people. Yeah, burden. It's time to kind of release that. Releasing all the negative energy, all of the negative words, all of the negative information and focusing on the dream. This is the Six of Cups too. This could be a past relationship. Why is the Six of Cups here? Yeah, celebration, okay. So basically, Spirit is saying, Virgo, don't worry about what you've lost or what it feels like you've lost or who, who it feels like you've lost because you're getting ready to come into a time of celebration. What you're missing is the balance of self, the balance of giving back to yourself and not burdening yourself with the worries and concerns of other people. So that's something too, right? Um, sharing is here, that's funny. Sharing is here, but then we have the miser. This usually is greed, but it's in the reverse, so it's selflessness, right? It's like it's time to, to be a little bit more selfish for yourself so that you can get what you desire too. You can get what belongs to you also and not just worrying about either pleasing other people or worried about what people will say there's just so much of like freedom for you here virgo why is the thunderbolt here exhaustion yeah so everything that was exhausting you was also what you were losing too so there's a reason why there was a loss here okay so we have experiencing so you're going through a time of experiencing it's going to take patience with yourself also and then putting the burdens down so we have the six and the six both here now, usually the six would represent the past. So there is some past energy that's here. So let's just see what that's about. With the exhaustion, it's almost like the best thing you can do is just to let go entirely. To release and to let go entirely is the best thing that you can do right now, Virgo. Yeah, the wheel changes. It's time. You're being forced to make changes. And this change, it seems scary because it's unknown. It's something that you've never done before. Being selfish, right? And having your own and building your own and having your own desires. Somewhere there was guilt there of putting yourself first. But right now, the changes that you're experiencing with the wheel is a positive change. So I see a lot of you moving into some positivity. We have the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Hierophant the queen of pentacles so you guys are becoming your own stream of income learning how to be a stream of abundance and yeah we have it in the reverse change the way you see abundance that's something too right to have people around you who love you and promote you as yourself and they want you to grow they want you to put yourself first that is abundance you have an abundance of friends who want the best for you or an abundance of hope or an abundance of yeah it seems like hope for the future what else is virgo experiencing and what do you want them to know eight of cups quest so yeah it's time to walk away from some things you guys are going on your own quest becoming the butterfly you know what four of swords yeah repose what i want to say about the butterflies you guys have been in a cocoon for a long time 
Virgos are very interesting. They don't, you know, I'm a Capricorn, so Virgo is Earth energy, and we do have a lot of Earth sign here. You're going to be successful. That's not something that you have to worry about. And, and if you are already successful, it would like be worrying about being successful is like worrying about if your name is going to be the same tomorrow. Okay. This, this is as, as much energy is, nonetheless is just being exhausted in the wrong places. Now, the best place to put your energy is within. And that's what spirit is also saying. Take some time to think with the four of swords and get more stable in your clarity, more stable with your vision of what it is that you're after, what it is that you want to experience here in this lifetime. So with the thunderbolt here, you are, it's almost like you're being struck by lightning. Okay. And everything that's happening all at once, it seems like it's all over the place. The reason being is for you to get right back on the, the, the right track. Comparison is here too. Virgo, there is no comparison. Okay. There is no you in a world full of billions of people. You will never find another you. So comparison is also not worth your time. The only competition is with yourself. It is the one who works on them, themselves the most that wins the race. The race is fulfillment, okay? So let's see what's going on in love before I get into some of the other things here. So a lot of money on the line, uh, a lot of abundance on the line as well. Uh, some of you know that you're gonna be very, very successful financially and you're very ambitious right now. Some of you already picked up that you needed to be more selfish and do more for yourself and stop sharing everything that you have. Because when I have something like this, selflessness, greed in reverse, and sharing on top of it, it's like you're, you were given way too much of yourself. And, and it doesn't have to be to another person. It could just be to a job. It could be to anything. What's going, what do you want Virgo to know in love? What do you want Virgo to know in love? Thank you. It is safe for you to love. Children at the bottom of the deck. Your love life is being affected by children. Meaning to not feel so serious about relationships. Okay? To understand that relationship is an extension of you, but you first must find you and your fulfillment before that comes. And it's safe for you to love. So yeah, there is some hurt here. There is some past burdens. There is some forgiveness of yourself for making some decisions in the past. It's okay to make mistakes, guys. It's okay to feel like a door is open and, and to go all the way down the hall just to find that it's not. It's okay. It is okay for you to make mistakes to learn your way, Virgo. You're so hard on yourself. So hard on yourself. So spirit wants you to release that. You're just finding your way. So the struck by lightning is just like, whoa, what's happening? Things are changing so fastly. Who am I? I'm looking in the mirror one day and I'm one person in the next day. It's a lot going on, Virgo. But it's important that you know that opening your heart to give and receive is the highest energy of all. Okay. This is also something I experienced with Gemini. Okay. Gemini energy is if your heart chakra is closed, not only can you not receive, but you cannot give. And you want to be able to give love, even if it's not in a relationship, because that is at the core of who we are. Okay. So you want to be able to feel like you can give love. All right, so I want to clarify a few cards here. What's the dream for Virgo? Because the dream is here. You see, it's a person who was dwelling on an image of a past relationship or something or is look comparing, comparing your life. So some of you that are single and some of you that have just got out of a relationship, I'm speaking to you, that the dream still remains, okay? The dream is still there. The dream is still yours, but the comparison of what people have and what you have is only going to make you feel low, like feel low frequency energy. Why is the dream here? Yeah, authority. So you still have authority over painting the dream. Remember, you're the painter of your, your, your masterpiece. You are the creator of your reality. And then the last card is for Virgo. And then who is Virgo becoming? Who is Virgo becoming? Facing fear, Lord Ganesh, money, 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 money. Wow. And then heart awakening, trapped in fear. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. 
the overthinking remember i said you were hard on yourself right let me remove some of these cards the overthinking that you're having is your own battle with self okay remember i said there's no comparison the person that works on himself grows but there's a lot of fear here okay and this fear is coming from within you're way too hard on yourself your mind learning how to work with your mind is going to be a pivotal thing for you right now virgo and the reason why is because your mind has convinced you that there is fear that is worthy of your time and that is not true okay trapped in fear not knowing where to go solitude there is there is some need for just solitude so that you can heal and release okay and again healing doesn't just have to be from you if you are a healer in which i feel very strongly that some of you are healers i did see the healing card the impact card it is time to retreat some of you are going very very fast nowhere also fast is not important it's about going in the right direction that is, okay? So hard awakening, remember that was something that I was just saying. Awaken to the acceptance of divine love, give and receive in balance, and then facing fears, okay? Kalima, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. It's breaking free from your mind. And also Virgo, because you're an earth sign just like me, learning how to use your mind. Now I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop some gold here, Virgo, okay? I'm gonna drop some gold here. Now, the mind is useless for the spiritual journey. That was something that took me a long time to understand because I'm a very intellectual person. I did not know how to release the mind and it seems like it's the same for you, Virgo. Now, obviously you're gonna be successful. We have the Lord of Prosperity here, but the reason why I'm going back to the mind, Virgo, is because you have to learn how to coexist with the mind and the mind not having so much authority over you that it keeps you trapped in fear. You're believing a lot of doubts about yourself, but the, the question is, are these beliefs real or are you choosing for them to be real? Okay, and the truth. So releasing your mind and understanding last but not least, because this is some more, this is some more juice here. The mind only knows what it has been taught and you are going to a whole nother level. And in this level, you don't know what to expect. It is the unknown. And that's why it's in fear. That's why you're in fear. Because what the mind doesn't know, it freaks out. Don't go in there. I don't know what's in there. We have a flight or flight reaction. I'm not gonna get too much into this, but I just want you to understand that the mind is not intelligent at the next level if it does not know how to accomplish the next level. So that's something to think about, Virgo. All right, stay in solitude, tune in with yourself, and of course, always stay inspired. Don't forget to comment down below, hashtag Virgo. And I'm gonna get some words of encouragement back to you guys, but if you do happen to see a comment down below, please feel free to inspire and uplift that person as well. I'm gonna move on to the next zodiac sign. Aries, more fire sign. Okay, perfect. Aries, Aries, Aries. All right, where should I start? Messages for Aries from the universe. messages from Aries for Aries from the universe Aries 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 this has been a tough year for you Aries this has been a tough year for you most fire signs I feel like this has been a tough year for last card for Aries what do you want Aries to know participation okay and then we have the dream at the bottom all right, projections. This card is very interesting. I was reading this new deck that I got, the Osho deck, and the projection card I was looking into a couple days ago. Now, the projection card is so tricky, okay? So, for instance, <laughs> gonna drop some, when you know you're about to drop some dimes. Okay, projections are so scary. Our mind makes us feel like things are real but they're only projected from our thoughts. This is something that you're learning how to create balance with, okay? The things that you have not healed from are being projected into your reality, okay? It's going to require you to have more participation and more harmony with yourself in order to determine and to depict, is this a projection? Because remember, we have a screen, but then we have a projection. And what is a projection? 
It is not the movie itself, it is just the light reflecting on the screen, it's what we see. That's the same thing with our reality. So when you are seeing things happen before you and they are causing you great pain, it's very important to look deep within and see why am I projecting this? And it is due to the healing. Let's see what that healing is stemming from. Universe, what do you want Aries to know? Fertility, partnerships and alliances, your relationships. Yes, 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 yes. There's so much relationship stuff here that you guys are dealing with, coinciding with people. Relationships are not just like love relationships, but relationships with family, friends, everything is shifting in your base chakra. This is the foundation of your friendships and everything with the chakras is built right on the base chakra. A lot of people don't know that the chakras don't start here. They start down here at the base. This is the foundation in which every chakra is aligned with on top. This is your partnerships and alliance. Spirit is trying to send people your way to help you, but you must be open to that help. We have a lot of threes. I like to think of the, the three as also fertility and birthing. Yeah, because we have mother, child, or mother, mother, father, father, whatever you choose, and child, so that would be three, that would be a partnership and alliance. So it also seems like you guys are birthing a new reality, okay? And it, it's, it means that you have to release the, the projection that you're having. So again, this is very tricky, Aries. What we are projecting most of the time is not the truth. So it's very important to take a step back and say, hmm, why did that trigger me? Because you need people, Aries. <laughs> you cannot cut everybody off. You need people. And the reason why I say that, I don't say need from a place of lack, but to create, we need people. To be blessed, we need people. Um, to run a business, we need people. So it's very important that you work on the healing that's necessary so that you can have true, genuine people coming in your way. But if not, what you're projecting is also what you're attracting. Okay. Let's see what is going on in your love life. Cause it might not just be your love life messages from the universe for Aries love life. And then also just being honest about what you want. It's okay to want more. It's okay to want love Aries in love. Stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah. So you guys are going to have a soulmate coming in here soon. Um, there's going to be a couple of soulmates. You, you are a people person. Let me just tell you that Aries. I don't really have many Aries friends, but based on this energy, I can really see that you're a people person and attracting people and partners is not hard for you. It's more so attracting the right people in the person. And the only reason again, why you're attracting some of the people is because they relate to the pain, but we need more friends and partners and alliances who also relate to the hope and the happiness. That's what spirit is saying. Okay. So you have a, someone coming in but we have pay attention to red flags. The signs are conditioning you, okay? So basically, or cautioning you and conditioning. Stay optimistic, but don't be so quick to wanna to be in a relationship that you end up with the wrong person. Allow patience to happen, because I do feel like you're gonna have a couple of people come in, one person in particular, if they have not if they have already, then you would know who this is. Uh, but basically, there's red flags, and you will see that, but again, if we're projecting, it's sometimes hard to see those red flags. So that's also something that you're you're working on and you're doing great at it. Messages for Aries. Yeah, a lot of you are, I'm not gonna take these because these are the last ones. A lot of you are also Aries going through an awakening period of learning about how much power and authority you have over your life. This is coming from a place of ambition and abundance also. So those of you Aries that are struggling with abundance, this is why I also said that your partnerships and alliances are per very important because even in the workplace, they will, they will make a difference. All right. What is going on here, Aries? These cards are flying everywhere. Messages for Aries from the universe. All right, Aries, so the sun card, this is good energy. This is happiness, okay? Now, this happiness that you're getting ready to experience 
is gonna come when you release the things that are no longer also bringing you that happiness. So the Four of Cups is dissatisfaction, the things that are just not satisfying you, the jobs and everything. It seems like you guys are having a pivotal moment in your life right now and, and really focusing on the foundation of things in general. A lot of you are dreaming about the things that you want to occur. Let's see why that's here. The habit, yeah. But you are learning codependency and dependency that the things that you want do not have to come from another person. That is something too. So there's a lot that you guys are working on here, but I just want to leave you with some positivity. Let's see what the words of affirmation are for Aries, because it is a challenging time right now. And I want to know what should you focus on? What should Aries be focused on? All right, we have the King of Cups in the bottom, releasing yourself and being free. Okay, remember you are free. I will heal myself. Healing yourself is also through love, happiness, having fun and getting out, enjoying life. And I give and receive in the universal good. So also learning balance. So the universe wants you to know that good times are coming. Okay, I think I need to say that in every zodiac sign. Good times are coming. It is not the end of the world. We are all waking up to the things that we basically brushed under the rug. And now they're coming into fruition and now they're coming to the light. This is a perfect opportunity to heal those things so that you can experience the dream. Some of you are longing for a partner. That partner is there on the other side of this healing mentally or feeling like you're gonna get hurt or being on edge and not sure where the relationship is gonna go. That's something too, the pressure. So going with the flow and focusing on healing, but also a balance of giving and receiving. Giving and receiving, making the effort to meet people halfway is something that is gonna really challenge you with building better relationships and better friendships so that you can see the fertility that you're longing for. But you most certainly have the power to break free. The dependency, the devil card here, this is Capricorn energy, this is breaking free mentally, okay? Breaking free from this projection saying, I'm no longer gonna choose to believe this. I believe that I come from a source of love, abundance, and I have so much power, Aries, and every zodiac sign, that I can co-create. I have so much power that I'm allowed to co-create, and I can also co-create my journey and my destiny. So this is beautiful, this is the storm, but I definitely feel like the rainbow after the storm is going to appear. So if you guys are in Aries, don't forget to comment down below. Hashtag Aries so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. I know this is heavy energy, but just pay attention to the things that you're thinking. Pay attention to how you see yourself and how you see the world. It's very important that you change it so that you can receive much more fulfillment and the dream that you're longing for. So if you are in Aries, hashtag Aries down below. I'm going to get some words of comments back to as many as I can, but if you do happen to come across a comment, don't forget to inspire and uplift them. Let's stay together in unity. All right, I'm going to move on to the next zodiac sign. All right, Libra. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra. What does the universe want Libra to know? What does the universe want Libra to know? Suppression. Transformation beyond illusion. That was the card that I that came up earlier when I was shuffling for you guys. And the master. Wow, you guys are becoming amazing individuals through the suppression and everything that's going on. Let me just confirm why all these major arcana cards are here. Why is the transformation card here? Traveling. Why is beyond illusion here? Completion. Why is the master here? The master is my favorite card. That means that you guys are being ignited into becoming more of who you are authentically also. So much major arcana here. Wow, this is crazy. All right, so all of this is major arcana. The transformation card is here because it is time to try something new. Traveling, it doesn't seem physical this time. Usually, obviously I could say, yes, yeah, traveling. You could be traveling or wanting to travel, but this is different. This is traveling within. This is seeking, there's, there's a deep need for seeking uh, Libra, throat chakra for sure is what I'm seeing. The universe wants you to open up and speak. You have so much to say that it is not just, it's not suppression negatively. It's like you are being suppressed creatively. It's gonna take a travel internally to allow this to move forward. 
And what I mean by this is the transformation. Okay, so you are the this is the death card. The transformation card is the death card. So you guys are dying and shedding your old self and your old ways. Actually, a lot of us are. We don't really have a choice but to keep that. But there's some sorrow and some stress here, Libra. And that is coming from the comparison. This I don't know why this is coming in, but the compare you comparing yourself to others and then also stressing about where you are. And then the sorrow seems to be lost. Libra, even though you're an air sign, you have so much love. I think that's my rising sign, if I'm correct. It goes back and forth between two. But Libra energy, what you're learning is to release the sorrow and the stress and tuning in. You're going through a rebirth. This person that you're becoming, it's like there's so many people around you who have opinions who want things for you, but this is now time for you to step up, stand your ground and speak on what it is that you want. And now that's gonna take tuning in because Libra, it's very rare that you spend as much time loving on yourself as you do others. So it is time to tune in and do something that you've never done before. And that is focusing on what makes you happy, even if it has nothing to do with another person. Tuning in is not running from the problems. The suppression and the tuning in tells me there's a lot of emotional things and releasing um, how you feel about people. Even if it's not a very loving way, it's more so just being able to speak and release. And I don't really see much of that. So spirit and universe wants you to have an outlet for your suppression, whether that's working out, dancing, singing, writing. It doesn't matter if it's low frequency suppression or suppressing happiness because that's something that's also here and that's why the traveling card is here it's time to take a trip this trip is internal this trip is showing you that you're the master that you don't have to listen to other people to form an opinion and know what is best for you you are the master of your reality not the opinions and the validation from others but this is going to cause you to move beyond illusion these are two heavy, heavy spiritual cards. This is the 20, Beyond Illusion. That's what we're in now, 2020. Seeing beyond what we're being fed or told, right? Looking within. Libra, something that's really, really heavy that universe is saying is there are so many messages and capabilities that you have. If you could just believe in yourself a little bit more, I think that's why you don't spend much time tuning in. You're, you rely sometimes on um, out source opinions and external opinions. And right now it's like, you are definitely becoming more of who you are in completing, but somewhere inside doesn't believe in your capability to the extent of greatness that you actually are. <sighs> that was a lot. Okay. So you're here, you have so much greatness, but there's a lot of doubt. Let's see where that's coming from. Where is this doubt coming from for Libra? Where is this doubt coming from? Passion. Yeah, your guys' passion is definitely getting ready to be ignited. Temptation is a lot of you are getting ready to be a lot more focused on you because you're realizing that having expectations of others isn't going to get you anywhere. It's just disappointing. It creates sorrow. It creates stress. It creates relying. But tuning in is going to be something that is a fire that will last a long time. So a fire that you burn for others, you have to keep lighting for them. But the fire within you is ignited if, if you just focus on you, your fire, your flame, your passion for life will always be lit. Okay. It's like not bringing burdens, not bringing and carrying weight that is not your own. A lot of you have taken on, and I don't know why this is coming, but taking on like other people's responsibilities and it's not your job. And so this is what you're learning how to do is have balance with yourself. It's like there are selfish people and there's selfless people. Libra, you are so selfless. It is time to to turn in and do things for you. Okay, what other message? Triumph, yeah. Truth. Triumph, authority. That's what I was just saying. You guys are gonna have a very big victory here and it's only because you're choosing to do something differently. And that is tuning in, being more open-minded with the crown chakra. This is about openness, seeing beyond the illusion, okay? Does everybody that I meet hurt me? Is that belief true or am I just projecting and that's now what I'm getting? 
that is like the biggest thing that I'm feeling for you guys. Crown chakra, accelerated motion. So things are on hold right now, obviously a standstill with everything in the world, but I wanna see who you're becoming, Libra. Who is Libra becoming? Trusting heaven. It's time for a more in-depth spiritual connection. So Libra, you have a heart of gold. Use that heart as a portal to travel to your sacred self and also your guides. So this is spiritual stuff that that universe wants you to focus on because it's going to give you an advantage in life. And then also it's not it's not not being hurt because I keep feeling like it's hurt. We will get hurt. There is pain and pleasure. It is the alchemy of this life, right? It is pain and pleasure. And so it's not that you won't get hurt, but being hurt is better than being numb because I don't want to feel. That's what spirit is saying is to realize that when you block out everything, you're also blocking out everything, not just the bad stuff. So trusting in heaven and understanding that you're safe, you're protected. Heaven is with you. Spirit is with you. It's like universe is saying, Libra, dive deep, dive in, dive in, find yourself. It's beautiful. You're powerful. You have the ability to lead yourself. You have the ability to be successful by yourself. You have that ability to do so. Okay. Unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Okay. Don't worry so much about others. Focus on you and in and, and remorse. That's something too, Libra. There's like a little bit of remorse of feeling bad for being happy. If like others are not, we need people to become their own source of happiness so that we don't have to rely on so many people to bring that to the world. If everyone worried within, within themselves in the source, it would be a better world. And so surrender your concerns and allow a miracle. The things that you're longing for are not going to come entirely from a practical place. It is going to be a spiritual thing. So the suppression earlier, like I mentioned, Libra, it is the creative expression too. It is the expression of wanting to love, but not knowing where to start. It is so many things here, but it is beautiful. Let's see what you should work on. What should Libra work on to find this beauty? The tower card, okay? I surrender and know how to go forward. So that's moving forward, letting things that need to fall, fall. Look at this tower on this card. Imagine standing there holding yourself like this, trying to catch it. That's what you've been doing for a long time. And Spirit says, it is okay to release this. It is okay to release that is which you, not your responsibility. Last thing that they should focus on. I make decisions without pressure. That's something that I, that I was talking about earlier. Outside pressure, outside validation, opinions. And then I choose my battles carefully. So you guys are becoming knights, okay? So the knights are movement, moving towards something, not stagnancy. So you're going to start feeling more movement and mental clarity. Knowing it's like things just open up mentally and are going to open up mentally for you. And you're going to say, wow, that door was there all along wide open. Yes, because there's more movement, more movement in your passion, more movement towards the things that you want to release. Okay. Suppression is very, very heavy and creates low frequency energy. That is not who you are. And last thing, Libra, most of the suppression and what you're feeling is not yours. You're an empath. So remember, it is okay to put down. It is okay to release. And the fear that if I don't take on someone else's responsibility, that I will lose them is something else too, because you are worthy of triumph and you're definitely worried of being able to create this own happiness without relying on other people. So spirit wants you to stay focused, stay open, stay connected, stay in love, stay inspired because things are getting ready to change. I know it's been heavy but your passion is getting ready to ignite and, and push you towards another direction. Movement, lots of movement that I feel for you guys. All right, if you guys are a Libra, don't forget to hashtag down below Libra so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. If you happen to stumble upon someone else's comment, encourage them, uplift them, let's stay in unity. And I'm gonna move on to the next one, so. All right, next up we have Pisces. Let's see what the universe has in store for you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces.
innocence, clinging to the past, which is the Five of Cups, maturity. All right, and then we have like a, a lot of cards. So let's just see what this is all about. All right, so first up, we have the Innocence, which is a major arcana card. So you are learning a lot. Learning a lot. Oh, Pisces. Okay. Pisces, you're learning how to slow down, but you're also growing. Another thing is giving yourself credit for the growth that you've had emotionally. You're maturing as you release more of what is in the past. Let's see, what is this past about? Clinging to the past, what is this about? Experiencing. It's like, basically what Spirit is saying is, allow the experience of the past to just simply be an experience and not holding on to it a little bit too much. It's more so of holding on to the fear of the past repeating itself. That's what I'm feeling. Why is the innocence card here? Possibilities. Why is the possibilities card here? Courage. Yeah. So you guys are learning a lot of growth. See all the flowers on the card? What is the water? That's, thank you. Schizophrenia. Playfulness. And nothingness. So Pisces, this is probably the heaviest zodiac sign reading that I've gotten today. So the schizophrenia is really, it's not a bad thing. It's just choosing who you want to be. It's confusion of the mind. Not exactly sure what's what's real from what is not real. That's something too that, that the universe wants you to pay attention to. Remember that you are nothingness. So you're coming back to this place of peace, okay? And you're also remembering that nothing defines you. No label no limit in fact i have a quote that says that labels are for products not people the nothing that this is about getting closer to self getting closer to the universe now another thing pisces that this that universe wants you to know is that the 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 gift that you have to feel emotions and feeling like sometimes it's all over the place is because it is given to you as a gift of empathic ability so you have the gift of being able to feel the emotions, but now it is really, it's certainly time to discover if emo being emotional is bad, right? That's something that they're saying is like being too emotional or being too connected to even things that remotely have nothing to do with you that make you emotional. It is, it is a part of your empathic ability. All right. So you're waking up to the courage that you guys, that you do have. The queen of pentacles is here too. This is the abundance. This is nature. Also something that I'm feeling that's really heavy for you, Pisces, is it might be time to take a retreat. Even if it's a staycation, something to clear your mind. There's a lot of confusion here. Not knowing where to start, not knowing where to stop, not w knowing where to turn. And it's forcing you to be even more courageous than you've ever been. I let go and embrace new beginnings. So we have Scorpio death energy, five of cups. I will move forward when the time is right. This feels like a relationship that has happened in the past. So anything that has happened in the past, it is coming up again with the five of cups. Okay. This is about holding on to what has happened. I will move forward when the time is right. Why are they not releasing this? Why is Pisces not releasing this? The tower. You're afraid of what will come next if you accept certain things. And that is just human. That's normal. But really what I'm feeling is that there's a lot of heartbrokenness here. There's a lot of heartbrokenness and this is a higher level of teaching and it's very, it can feel very confusing at times, but to get to a place of nothingness, you understand that you are the only thing that is real. And I know that that sounds crazy. Again, this is higher level spirituality. It's like, Universe wants you to get engulfed in what is spirituality? What are you? What is the spirit? The spirit is a sense of nothingness. And that is a very, very beautiful place to start. If you do not know the guru named Osho, O-S-H-O, 
I would advise you to look into some of his practices and works because I feel like this is going to help you. There needs to be a little bit more balance because there's a lot of personal things that, that you've taken personally that really didn't have anything to do with you. The people around you, the circumstances that have taken, a, uh, taken effect in your life are not really coming from you creating them as much as it is you just experiencing that and understanding that you're kind of like in this ocean and you're just like going with the flow and next thing you know you're just out in the middle of nowhere and it's like how did i get here so this is a spiritual journey to come back to self and again this is heavy heavy stuff let me just see what is going on in love with pisces what is going on with love flirt unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So yeah, it's just some things that happened in the past that you feel like you were taken for granted of or people take advantage, things like that. It's an emotional turmoil that you guys are experiencing right now. It is to get you to a place of maturity. This person is at peace. They are watering their spirit, not the drama, not the regrets. Remember, the water is like your focus. You are focusing, or what universe wants you to do is focus on pouring into yourself. Focus on watering your plant, watering your growth, and slowing down, okay? Remember I said that Pisces is just like somehow you got into the water, and the water is just this emotional turmoil, and you're just like floating without a boat. And it just seems all over the place like a roller coaster, and it's just, it's almost like you're experiencing your internal feelings about how you feel internally. So who is Pisces becoming? Who is Pisces becoming? Awakening to present in divine healing. Yeah, so <laughs> empath. Pisces are a pretty big empaths. And then you also have the psychic insight. So again, like I said, no, I haven't finished all of the zodiac signs, obviously, but it's very unlikely that I will receive this exact layout. And this is a very, very heavy, spiritual energy you are awakening to so much more than what you thought you were and at first it could be scary okay i always talk about this at first it could be scary but that's where the schizophrenia is coming from okay it's duality choosing are you the identity right no word can define you mother father um rich poor no word one word no word can define what you are Take a deeper dive inward. Remember, the spirit has nothing, no identity, the nothingness, no identity, no gender, no race. That's what the, the spirit has nothing, right? The body in this avatar that we are in then becomes identified. So that's where the schizophrenia is coming from. It's like there's a deep desire to know oneself and to dig deeper within and focusing on that. So you're awakening to more love. You're also an empath, but it says honor your sensitivity, retreat and recharge to heal. Your light can support another, okay? So you are fully capable of being able to help people, and I feel like you will, and you're waking up to being a leader also. And it is important that you have emotions because that makes you empathetic. That's why you're an empath. You can feel what others are going through. That is a gift that was given to you, but sometimes it can feel like a curse when you're feeling everything and you're just out there floating. Like, how the hell did I get out here? But it is truly your third eye awakening to seeing truth for what it is and also following your intuition, okay? So your ability has given you this amazing capability of attracting and connecting with people and understanding their pain. So if you guys are Pisces, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement out to you guys. It is okay to feel emotions. Let them come, let them go. Just like the thoughts, let them come, let them go. Like the waves, let them come, let them go. Now, if you guys want some words of encouragement back, I'm gonna try to get some words to you guys. If not, don't forget to comment down below your sign, Pisces. And then also, if you come across a comment, encourage or uplift and inspire that person as well. All right, I'm on to the next Zodiac sign. All right, next up we have the Capricorn. So hashtag Team Capricorn, as most of you know. That is my sun sign. So let's just see what messages we have for Capricorn. Taking myself out of it. I wanna make sure everything is not biased. 
So I'm open just as much as you are with receiving this message for Capricorn in the universe. What do you want Capricorn to know? The Fool. Zero. The Miser. Change. Last one. Nice. Slowing down. Yeah, that was something that, that I got also. All right, so we have a lot of cards at the bottom of the deck. So I'm gonna pull one more because we have a lot. Of one more for Capricorn. Thank you. <clears throat> experience in the reverse. So a lot of us have been getting experience today. I think that's the third time. So let's see why it's changed here for the Capricorn. Change, change is coming, innocence, okay. So you guys are going through a change. Capricorn is going through a change. Now, another thing that Capricorn is learning is to be selfless in this time and period. I also felt the same thing with the Virgo, uh, which is another earth sign, but I'm really strongly feeling like Capricorn, we are learning, okay, I'm gonna put myself in it as well. We are learning how to do things that really excite us, that please us, without worrying about who's around us in the process. Yeah, celebration. It is definitely a time for celebration and growth. And then also traveling is here. So some of you may have a desire to travel and even with everything going on, traveling is also just seeing something new. And with this, I'm also feeling like there is a lot of growth for the Capricorn right now. The universe wants you to know that you are enough. That's something that is coming through too. You are enough. You've learned a lot from experience. However, there is more growth and what you're learning and also just slowing down and trusting the process and trusting that the universe is going to bring you the fruits of your labor. Meaning everything you've worked so hard for, you're going to start seeing the fruits of that labor. Now is a time of celebration of self for you Capricorn. Putting yourself first, focusing on you is also focusing on others. Whereas focusing on others is not focusing on you. And that's a little weird, but the more we pour back into ourselves, the more that we have other, other things to offer. So what is the Capricorn becoming? Who is the Capricorn becoming? Light activating. So a lot of you are going through an activating process. And again, this doesn't stop. This isn't just like a one-time thing. This is something that occurs very, very often. There are different levels. So some of you may feel like you're experiencing some of the same things. They could be that, but it is from a different angle. So facing fears and then doing what? This chance is yours to soar. Major spiritual changes. Even myself going through a heavy, heavy spiritual change in a different level. There are so many levels of spirituality. You are learning more of giving back to yourself, of reciprocating what you give to others and also giving to yourself. Now I want to pull some more tarot too. Heart awakening, give acceptance to love and experiencing grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you, which is why I have stay inspired today because I'm really feeling like inspiration is coming to every zodiac sign within the next few months. And inspiration is already here and now is what I'm hearing. Messages for the Capricorn and what you want them to know. Thank you. Two of Wands, Decisions, the Paranormal, Curiosity. So this next level is unknown. Okay, this is a level that you have yet to go through yet. Why is it Grace here for the Capricorn? Five of Cups, Regret. What is Capricorn regretting? The Star card, we have Aquarius Energy and Hope. Let's see, one more card. Thank you. Page of Swords. I feel like Capricorn, you're getting ready to come through a more childlike stage. Being more childlike is a perfect balance for you because of the seriousness of the Capricorn. A lot of people say that we're serious, but I feel like we're pretty funny. But the seriousness needs to be kind of like balanced out. Remember, we are a child at heart. We never really grow up. That is just an illusion. Growing up is a trap and certainly illusion. It is just simply having more responsibilities. But with the full card, you're getting back to the childlike in you, the adventurer that you are, the one that is ignited. See, see Capricorn, you have to be inspired to be motivated. OK, 
okay? You have to see something that just makes you want to speak up on it or something in the world that's happening or something that you read. So the stay inspired is definitely for the Capricorn because inspection is here page of swords be curious about new things new new knowledge there's there's levels of knowledge that you have yet to reach just yet and also just not being so hard on yourself about the decisions you've made in the past let's see where that's coming from why is the five of cups here before i move on for capricorn thank you emotional loss so yeah capricorn a lot of us have been experiencing some emotional loss and then also just the things that we feel like have yet to, and even this is a five too, focusing on emotional loss is going to bring you a lot of heartache. Focusing on hope is going to make you a star and also give you a star experience. This is the highest of them all is what I'm feeling. So the regret is the emotional loss, okay? Overthinking things, wondering if you could have done things differently. But now is just a time for selflessness, doing something for yourself and changing this cycle that is being repeated. Let's see what that cycle is about. What is the cycle for Capricorn? Sacrifice, yeah. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. It feels like a sacrifice when losing, when feeling like we've lost something, but Spirit is also saying you will never lack, you will never lose. What you feel you lost will be replaced. This is something that has been a common theme throughout all of the zodiac signs here. Again, your inspiration, Capricorn, comes from your curiosity, okay? To want to learn more, to, to want to be successful, to want to have more. This is something that naturally inspires you, is the longing for freedom. The longing for just being free to flap your wings and not worrying about where you will land. Being more free is something that is very, very heavy, means sacrificing the fears that you may have and then also the beliefs that you may have of taking that leap of faith. Loneliness is something that's coming up too. Codependency. All right, one more card for Capricorn. Finances and career, one more card for love. Wow, these cards are flying. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. So some of you who are in a relationship right now and you're a Capricorn or could possibly just have met someone or will meet someone, this person is your soulmate. It looks like there are some financial differences here. First of all, <laughs> Capricorn is almost to me, in my, my opinion, based on what I see with zodiac signs, a ruler of abundance and abundance is practical things and practical things is logic as well so the codependency is addictions are affecting your romantic life so this codependency of feeling like you need people feeling like you need someone to give to feeling like you need anything is codependency okay so you're learning how to release that it's interesting because the Capricorn is the devil card and the devil card represents codependency it's addictions it's hanging and clinging on to things and and not that belong to you in here let me break this down this place that you're clinging on to should be within so that if people decide to leave remember if you make someone your everything they leave you have nothing right so this is what the codependency is about find something within that fulfills you that does not have to depend on the reliance of other people other situations and control also is what I'm hearing logically. Like, if this happens, then this is meant to be. That type of uh, thinking, okay? So this, this control too is feeling like you have to have something in return. And I, I'm not sure exactly why that is. So let's go ahead and see what the words of affirmation are before we move forward. What should Capricorn be focused on? It's like finding that fulfillment in self latching on because it never leaves you. It will never leave you. But everything else that has left you, it has left you emotionally distraught. And it's like depending on other people um, to do certain things, this is also codependency, okay? Now, before I got into the ruler of abundance, I was saying that because of finances and career. Whoever your partner is or soulmate is, they may not have the same outlook as you financially. And that's perfectly fine. Capricorn and most earth signs are rulers of abundance and practical things. So they're very focused on career and finances. We have Leo energy, the strength card. 
So let's see what we're focusing on is I can deal with whatever comes my way. We are being strengthened, okay? We are being strengthened, last one. And we are being asked to choose battles more carefully. This is more so like battles with ourself and battles in the mind. So with the Knight of Swords, this is too much action thinking, less thinking Capricorn. And I know that's hard. I know that that is definitely hard, but less thinking. Okay. There is some fear here of opening up in love. Now for the past one to two years, Capricorn, it's been a crazy roller coaster in love in general. So it's like when you give your all, you give everything, but you must accept all emotion. Okay. We can't, we cannot receive love if we are blocked off and afraid of being hurt. That is something that's very potent Capricorn. And then again, four of pentacles is stability. Okay. Trusting that you're always safe and protected, getting closer to your creator and understanding that there is never a top level. And that's the really cool thing about this journey is that just when we feel like we've made it to the top of learning more things or learning more knowledge or having more, we realize that there is an even higher level of obtainment. So if you guys are Capricorn, don't forget to hashtag Capricorn down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And also, if you come across a comment, don't forget to just uplift that person or feel free to spread some love and peace so that we can keep unity going in the comment section. All right, I'm moving on to my next zodiac sign is the Sagittarius. All right, Sag, let's see what the universe wants you to know. Here they go. The rebel, that's definitely Sagittarius energy. All right, so this is emperor energy also. Totality, awareness. Sag, I told you 2020, this is your year. But what do we have going on here? The universe sees that there is a little bit of guilt here. Where is this guilt coming from? Schizophrenia, not knowing who you are. Not only guilt, it's more of just feeling like you have to be so many people. That's another thing. Um, and Sag, it's important to understand that you're a leader also, okay? You are, uh, even in your chart, you're a leader. You are a leader of fire, a leader of tenacity. And right now what's happening is you're becoming even more aware of yourself externally. And what that means is not identifying with the labels and understanding that there's a deeper awareness rightness, abundance. Some of you guys may be being challenged with abundance or wanting your fruit to come or you're waiting and you're like, uh, it's been how many months I'm waiting for my fruit to come. The time is coming right now. What's happening is harmony. There needs to be harmony with yourself and all yourselves also is what spirit is saying there. There, there's more harmony here. There is more fulfillment coming. There is contentment here. Why is the awareness here? In celebration, and then last one, totality. Breakthrough, yeah. You guys are going through a huge, huge, huge breakthrough. 11-11 is something that you guys might be seeing frequently. This is a light activation, okay? Becoming more of the light. This is something that Sagittarius, I feel like, uh, is a commonality of being tested with low vibrational things or darkness. So that could be guilt and shame or the lowest on the frequency of the Omega energy chart, right? Shame and guilt are the very lowest. So if you're being hard on yourself, if you're saying that I should have made this, these decisions, this is something that is causing confusion mentally schizophrenia. Also what schizophrenia is, it's not anything to be, you know, fearful of. It's just having two different minds. One minute you're this person around these people or maybe this person you don't feel as comfortable being yourself around but your awareness is awareness of self in one and whole and that you alone are enough to attract the things that that you actually want in this lifetime all right so let's see what else is going on here because there is other breakthroughs that are occurring through your mind and it's and it's also your biggest enemy is yourself sag it is yourself it is your mind the mind is the controller of the body and decisions, disappointment. So I feel like you came into this year, you're like, okay, this is gonna be a good year, 2020, this is my year, like everyone, and you're just a little bit disappointed. And this is something that I've seen very 
much so in the fire signs because you guys thrive off of energy. And so a lot of the energy in the world has created some heartbreak, some disappointment, but also what Spirit is saying is acknowledge the good that is going to come from this. Acknowledge that this could be your moment to break through from this as well. Page of Cups, inventiveness. Let's see what else is here for Sash, for the universe. Thank you, the habit, dependency. So you're coming out of dependency, heartbreak. Um, a lot of you are just also just not really caring about the love life as much. Kind of just going with the flow, focusing on yourself, which is very mature of you, Sag, because this isn't something you would normally do, but I'm feeling like whatever happened in the world really pushed you into this place of growth. The High Priestess. This is the first time this card came out today. So the High Priestess is using inner wisdom. Let's see why this is here in the reverse for Sag. Seven of Cups, making decisions. Going with the flow, but there's going to be a lot of challenges your way that have to do with delusions. Now, what this is, is the mind injustice of you overcoming anxiety, your thoughts, whether you're good enough, smart enough, strong enough, all of these things, not giving into those beliefs, only believing in that which is the truth that you are strong, you're courageous, you're beautiful, you're powerful, you have all authority over your energy, you are that source of positive energy, so it's really waking up to who you are and the power that you have. Now, seven is also about options. Lots of options, okay? I don't feel like you guys are gonna jump into things how you used to, because you guys were also the life of the party. So you're kind of going back to the page, okay? Being more aware before you make certain decisions. Being more aware of your surroundings. Let's see why the nine of uh, wands is here. New beginnings is in reverse. And then shadow, patience. So a lot of what you're going through right now is your shadow self. That's why I said the war is with yourself. The war is within. Shadow self is everything egotistically that we hold on to. Our identity is a big one. Our thoughts, negative thoughts about ourselves, okay? Wanting justice, but also having to be patient. Wanting to get back to the way that things were also is here. Let's see what you guys should be focusing on. Because the shadow self is what you're up against right now. So if you're feeling very defeated or if you're feeling like when is this going to be over you're at the very brink of a breakthrough Sag. all right so we have king of cups i know that the right person waits until i'm ready so this is definitely love so let's switch the topic what messages do you have for sagittarius in love because it seems like this is where you guys are going to be focusing a lot of your attention soulmate in the reverse release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So I'm gonna let you guys take this how it resonates. So um, if you're in a relationship, you may have been getting messages that maybe this isn't your soulmate in this time. And also the reason why is because you, Sagittarius, I'm gonna take some time to just pour into you guys because I'm feeling like it's really necessary, okay? Releasing your ex, some of you may be in the comments like, I release my ex, I release my ex, you know. Thoughts are energy. Speaking is energy. So if you're talking, you're speaking about them, you're still stuck in that place. So your true soulmate that you're looking for is going to mirror you. So when you find your soul, the mate will appear. This is something that I've been talking about a lot, especially with karmic energy. Patience with yourself, my friend. You run and you move very fast, and that is what you are as a zodiac. Now you're just learning the balance. But the releasing your ex and freeing yourself, remember that you're the most beautiful is when you're free. When you are a free spirit just flying in the wind and allowing yourself to go with the flow and not being in your head. That's not even who you are. So with the schizophrenia, it's like that that person is not even you. You go with feeling. You go with spontaneousness. You go with that. And so if you're not being true to yourself, being free, being loved, or being honest, 
then what's going to happen is it's going to create conflict in your love life. So you're being asked to free yourself and take back control over your life. And then once you find this, you'll realize that the soulmate will appear, but you must find your soul before the mate can appear. So Sagittarius, keep working on yourself. Keep being the free rebel that you are. Never change for anybody. Just adjust to the your life partner. But again, know that your partner is, it says, the right person waits until I'm ready. Your soulmate, your partner that you're looking for, and even if you're in a relationship, is ready. That person is ready. Now, if you're in a relationship, obviously the release your ex card is here. I'm going to leave that to what you guys feel resonates uh, best with you. And it doesn't have to be, it says the time has come to clear your energy. So it's not just about that person. It's about your energy towards that person. And then know that the right person is ready when you are. All right. Don't forget to hashtag Sagittarius down below so I can get some words of comments and encouragement back to you guys. And if you do have the time, feel free to encourage and uplift other people in the comments as well. Let's continue to push harmony and unity. All right. Let's move on to the next zodiac sign. All right, Cancer, let's see what the universe has. All right, let's see what messages are from Cancer from the universe. Messages from the universe for Cancer. Okay, that was very quick. Okay, we are the world, 10 of pentacles. Adventure. So that's definitely the page in completion. That's what, the third time that came out today? So happy birthday, Cancer. I know that a lot is going on right now but you are being challenged to come back to self in completion. It's almost like there's a missing puzzle here and you're getting ready to find that missing puzzle. Let's just see what that missing puzzle is. Every Zodiac sign, I'm completely asking different questions because every Zodiac is going through their own thing. So universe, what is that missing puzzle? 10 of swords, I see the truth in this ending. And the two of cups, I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. So worthiness, hashtag I am worthy in the comments if you receive this message. You are learning that you do not have to be something that you are not. You do not have to change who you are to feel complete. The missing puzzle is how you see yourself. Or do you feel like you're worthy of the deepest kind of love? And some of you may say, yes, that's me. But there could be some subconscious beliefs that you have about receiving this love. See, you give the deepest kind of love, but do you deserve to have it reciprocated? And the answer is yes, which is why you should only see the truth. Some of you are coming to endings. Okay, let's see what that's about in the love life because I'm definitely feeling it's love. Some of you are coming coming out of some issues, coming out of some relationships, or dealing with relationships in general this year, and especially in this time. Some endings are happening, and it's, and it's not just in love. All right, let's see in love for Cancer Universe. What messages do you have for Cancer? Look at how high those flew out. All right, so we have two cards. I'm not gonna take those because they were up. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Work on being a partner. Now, it's almost like you're misunderstood emotionally. Taking your kindness for granted, taking your kindness for weakness, that's something that I'm hearing. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Now, remember when you're looking for a partner or you're in a partnership that you understand what it is that you're desiring in a partner and not egotistically, right? Tall, dark, handsome, that's all ego stuff but someone who can connect with you on the same frequency, someone who wants to find fulfillment just as you do, someone who wants to complete the world. The Ten of Pentacles is also, this is a lot of relationship stuff. You do have a partner that's here in this lifetime that is very important, but you must, they're saying you must feel completion before they come, before that person comes or before you feel what you're looking for in your partner. So if you're in a relationship and you're wondering, what, what is the missing piece here, okay? What am I missing? It is the way you see yourself. It is the way that you're reflecting from within. Give yourself a chance in a relationship is better said um, than this, okay? All right, now let's see what else is going on here. I don't know what card that is. New beginnings, yeah. So new beginnings are definitely coming. We are the world is more so completion. Some of you who are 
this is this is for a very few of you some of you who are out there involved in the protests out there in information you could be in the, uh, in politics you could just be a speaker very outspoken uh universe wants you to understand nothingness okay and also it's like using discernment because you you tend to fall for the wrong people or the wrong situations and so you are an adventurer you love to explore but for some reason you keep getting snagged and in this snagging just remember that everything is we we are the world we are all coming together in harmony and as you see on this card different colors blue black gray purple um there's not even black and white here in the rainbow but you can see that it is a very colorful experience so you're learning harmony you're learning unity coming together as one and also using your discernment spirit in universe wants you to start using more of your discernment yeah because curiosity so that you don't get snagged in these traps using more of your discernment is just paying attention to your instincts because they're speaking to you the star hope in reverse now i know with everything going on it has been a salty birthday year so i feel like that's also something that is just keeping the hope means also being strong okay for what's going on right now and then we have the queen of cups intuition so and in, you have a lot of even if you're a male male or female it doesn't matter you have a lot of feminine energy and i feel like it's misinterpreted sometimes and that's why people take your kindness for weakness. So let's just see what else you have for cancer before we see what they need to work on. At the bottom of the cup, four of cups, this is dissatisfaction. You know, just not feeling full, not feeling complete. There's a lot of emptiness. Spirit is saying, fill that void with your love. Fill that void with peace. Fill that void with the universe. Fill that void void with the love from your source. And celebrate. You know, still have that birthday party. If you got to get a cake, a little small cake and light it yourself and wish yourself happy birthday and how far you've come, it's not just about celebrating another year. This is about celebrating being here, being healthy, still being able to experience this life. And then we have the Two of Cups relationship. So now it's shaky in the relationships and I feel like it will be because there's an empty void. Spirit is basically saying you deserve more than filling that void with external things and, and people. Fill that void with the love that you have for yourself. Fill that void with something other than others is what they're saying. So what should Cancer focus on, universe? Thank you. What should Cancer focus on? I am supported and never alone. When you are in alignment with higher self and intuition, you will feel complete. You will feel like the puzzle, the missing puzzle has been found. That's actually what you're looking for right now. Know that you're supported, okay? Lack, mentality, you are abundant. Do not give in to the thoughts that you are not. That is lack mentality. We have, when I show my work, others give support. Being a little bit more optimistic about what the, the things, I can't even talk. Whew. being more optimistic about the things you can actually achieve. Believing in yourself a little bit more is necessary for this next level because what universe is saying is we cannot depend on believing in others to get the task done or to feel completion from, okay? So that's focusing on that and trusting in the present moment. It is only when we are in the present that we are living. The past is no longer here. The future has not come. The only here and now is the nine of swords, which is the present moment. So some of you guys are going to come out of your head with this situation. This is usually depression, anxiety. It doesn't have to be yours. It could just be the world. But you're coming out of that by completing yourself with something more loving, peaceful than anyone can give you. And that is source. Okay. So if you guys are cancer, don't forget to hashtag cancer down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And if you have time, feel free to uplift and inspire someone else in the comment section so we can continue to promote harmony and unity. I'm on to the next zodiac sign. All right, last but not least, we have Taurus. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on with you. Happy late birthday. All right, messages from the universe for Taurus. 
messages for the universe. Let me Taurus, 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 Taurus from the universe. Messages. Thank you. Adventure in the reverse. Turning in. Four of Cups. Flowering. So, Taurus, I feel like what's happening, uh, the universe is almost like forcing you to flower or to uh, nurture yourself, to honor more of your feminine energy. Doesn't matter if you're a male or a female, feminine energy is just simply caring, compassionate, that type of stuff, nurturing. Whereas masculine energy is more confident, more assertive, that type of stuff. I feel like you have that down, Taurus. You definitely have that part down. What you're learning is also not to exhaust yourself with others, okay? And not to take heed to others. I think that you've already learned this part of coming more within, inward, than seeking for answers outside. Sorry. This is a lot. So we have Taurus energy. Emperor was already at the bottom of the deck. Why is the four here? The rebel. So yeah, emperor energy. This is Aries energy. Um, you're becoming the emperor also. But it's like you have that down pat. It's more so of the nurturing side. And, and understanding people too. That's something that universe is gonna be helping you with. Why is exhaustion here? Thank you. Creativity, all right, so we have the Empress. So we have already two major arcana cards here. It is definitely the feminine side of the energy, nurturing, more nurturing of yourself and being more open to that. Last time, why is the Four of Cups here? Success, okay. And then we have Suppression and Thunderbolt at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like Taurus spirit feels like you don't, that you feel like you don't have anyone to really pour into or someone that really is understanding of you. But again, flowering yourself, pouring back into yourself abundantly. You have a lot of abundance coming to you, a lot of success, Taurus. All the work you've been doing is getting ready to pay off, especially with the flowering card. We have a lot of abundance here on the board. One of in it, Ace of Wands. What else do you have for Taurus? Yeah, King of Pentacles, loyalty, bravery, and then the Ace of Wands, and then delusions at the bottom of the deck. Knowing which decisions to make, also who to be loyal to. It's there's a lot of things here mentally conflicting that you're currently dealing with, and you're becoming the. See, here's the thing. When you're doubting your capability of how far you can go financially, that is already a mental blockage. You are gonna be very successful. You have a lot of success and finances over you, but you must believe in that part of you. You must believe that you have that capability. All right, and then the last card, we have 10 of swords. That's another thing that kept coming up. And then now we have the queen of pentacles. So this is balancing your masculine and your feminine energy. So. They're saying that you are gonna have a lot of success when you learn how to balance the two. So being caring, compassionate, and nurturing will also help you become more abundant. Because remember, abundance comes from people adding value to people's lives. So you're learning how to have both the masculine and the feminine energy. We have king and we have the queen, okay? So you are learning and have already learned the, the assertiveness, the leadership, and if not, then you're certainly learning that. It is both that are gonna get you to where you need to get to. It is having the compassion, knit ability, and then also the assertive ability to caring for people. It's almost like this spiritual awakening that you're going through is to dig deeper in what you really care about. What is the message? What message would you give to the world if you only have 30 seconds left? This is gonna be centered around your life purpose. It's almost like you're waking up to that, the life purpose. And that's only found from within. That is only from watering your flower within, watering yourself. Now the exhaustion, let's see where that's coming from. Where is Taurus's exhaustion coming from? Why is he not doing that? Disruption, it's not knowing how to maneuver. Yeah, so Taurus, you're an earth sign like myself. I'm a Capricorn. Tur Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, it is an earth sign. So we're very practical. We think about things. Now the problem is that our mind cannot be taken to the next level. 
So a lot of the things that are happening in your life right now have kind of hit you for a loop, have kind of come from out of nowhere. It was disruptive. It was something you didn't plan. It's like you have to, this whole year, it seemed like you knew exactly what you wanted to do or you had some type of idea and everything just started coming out of nowhere. And now it's about digging within, having the bravery and the courage to finish what you started, regardless of what it looks like. Okay. And so, yeah, we can't see, that's the thing with planning. It's like planning is great, but planning too much like us earth signs, it's like, it's not going to work for so long because we can't implement the things that are happening in the world. You know what I'm saying? And so with that, it's like being able to not fight the fight it. Okay. It is what it is. Let it go. Move forward. But if you hang on to it and you're like, man, I really wish this didn't happen this way. I really wish it could win. That is creating the mental exhaustion. That is creating exhaustion of going back and forth and back and forth. And so the shadow self is here too. Let's see why that's here. Why is the shadow here for Taurus and what you want them to know? That you're going to be very abundant, that you're waking up to your life purpose. Six of cups. Yeah, shoulda, woulda, coulda. You're still a magician no matter what. Okay, so let's just think of it like this. You're a magician, so whether you lost your hat or whether you lost your magic, if you feel you lost your magic, you have not, okay? You have been properly equipped for this time right now is also what Spirit is saying. You have been properly equipped for such as a time as this. Your magic is still there, but as soon as you feel like it's gone, then you become something other than the magician. And that's what you are. You're a magician, a magic manifester, someone who can manifest no matter what. That's why universe knew that these curved balls that are going to be thrown to you and are being thrown to you, you would be perfectly fine in being able to handle them. It's just that it's like the, your release, your reaction, being quick to react and change directions and not dwelling like, man, I was supposed to go this way, but now there's construction. And it just imagine just sitting there like, oh my gosh, it's like, yes, there's construction, there's a curve ball in your plan for the day, let it go and move forward. That's what you're learning so you don't exhaust yourself with the shoulda, woulda, coulda. Now in love, what do you have for Taurus? True love, let go of control issues. Allow situations to unfold naturally so that true romantic, or this is the romance of a lifetime, but so that true romantic love can come into your life. Now, this may not be something that you're interested in right now, but again, remember how I said with the construction, that's also like control, trying to control, like you can control your plans, but some things are uncertain. Love is uncertain. This is not something logically that we can work around. That's why a lot of people struggle with love and peace and things that we cannot see. These are abstract things that come from within. And so you're learning that the control is just sitting there looking at the construction and being like so pissed that it's there and you were supposed to take this route and it's quicker. But again, it's totally fine. So you're learning just like every earth sign to release the control, how things have to play. This has to look like this. And if it doesn't, then I don't know if this is going to happen. The planning is necessary just a little bit, but try to balance it more with more intuition. You're going to have better results that way. Now let's see before we get out of here. Who are you becoming and what should you focus on? Who is Taurus becoming? Yeah, exactly. Look at at the bottom of the deck. Magic manifesting. Oh, Taurus. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming a reality. Stay focused. Stay inspired. Re rediscover a lost part of yourself. Relationship, harmony, and healing. Something we talked about. And then also healing in your family. It says a family wound and pattern can be healed. Also, this is for some of you guys, if you did lose someone in your family, and an is there now an ancestor spirit to you? Um, it could be someone that you didn't meet. It seems, like, it seems like someone older, for sure. And I only say that because the energy of the card. It's, this is someone wise, someone old that played a part in their life. It could have been a teacher, could be a, uh, a guardian, a parent, or a mentor. Okay, whoever it is, if they did pass, they're there. Some of you, regardless of if you don't know what this is, you will have an ancestor or spirit that probably either happens in a dream, because we have the dream catcher here, and I never really look into this card, but I'm really feeling like this is somebody that's gonna come to you in a dream, okay? 
And then the last card, which was the magic manifesting that I went over. Let's see what you should focus on. Because again, you're a magic manifester, which means that you can manifest no matter what, no matter what curveball is thrown at you, etc. So what should Taurus be focused on? Taurus should be focused on peace is something that I'm hearing. We have temperance is Sagittarius energy. I find clarity through the calm. It is in your mind, okay? And then the page of cups. I am as young as I choose to feel. So some of you who just had past birthdays, this is just for, for some of you, there was a little bit of I'm getting older and uh, I don't know if I have anything to show. That, you can release that right now because there's, there's no such thing as age uh, in the spirit realm, okay? And so I am as young as I choose to feel. You still have time. There is no rush. It is okay to take a break and reevaluate is what I'm hearing. So if you're a Taurus, don't forget to hashtag your zodiac sign down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. And in the meantime, if you also see a comment that you want to share and uplift that person, please feel free. I want to spread more harmony and unity on my comment section because I don't have the opportunity to get to every single person. Just feel free to encourage and uplift someone in the comment section. So this is your guys' Zodiac reading. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, love and light to you guys always.